Hey, what's up? This is Jared with The Daily App Show. Today we're going to take a look at Maria Spanish Class, which is a great application for learning the Spanish language. Got some music playing. I'm going to choose my profile. Um, now when you, you go into the app, you can create a profile. You can have several, which means that uh, you and your family or close ones uh, can learn Spanish. So you come in here and you've got your teacher, you've got Maria here kind of guiding you through the process. Um, and when you're brand new to the game, you've set up a new profile, she uh, gives you a little bit more explanation, um, which helps out. So this application is very, very easy to use. And um, so what we're going to do here is just tap in, and she's going to explain a couple things to us. Um, I'm already a little bit through my process. I've went and kind of... Gra uh, grasp the basics. I've went and, and uh, played those levels um, and learned a little bit. Um, the only Spanish I've ever had was the Spanish that I was required to take in high school, uh, which I took the beginning years in high school. So I've got about 14 years since, 15 years since I've, uh, no, yeah, 15 years since I've uh, taken Spanish class. So at the beginning, only the first one's unlocked. Once you've uh, gone through the entire first level, you can unlock additional levels, um, and Maria will do that for you. So you can go in the Grammar Index and learn. This is what you're going to need to do first. You're going to want to go through here and go through all of these indexes and learn uh, pronunciations, um, different uh, uh, verbs and different ways that the uh, words work and it's going to read all of that to you and you can learn all of this stuff. Some of them are uh, a little more intuitive so um, for example we can scroll down and uh, you know when do you use mucho versus muy tap on that and learn so you're going to want to go through all these first before you start to play some of these levels. Let's go into grasp the basics so now she's uh, back and she's explaining to me what we do in Graphs the Basics, just like a teacher would do. Now I can go into the grammar topic here, and here are the different things that are in this section. I can go and read through all those, which I would do if I was you. And then you can go into the topic vocabulary and hear some of these things. So let's, for example, go into colors. Los colores. Azul. Rojo. Amarillo. Blanco. So it's telling you the English and the Spanish right there. And what you can do is tap hide all. So I could be like, okay, red, and I could think it in my head and, and then Rojo. play it to see if I've got it right. So you can kind of even test yourself right in here before you go in and uh, and take your kind of your exams or or play the games uh that are in here. They're more like level, uh, you know, quizzes or whatever. So um, these practice quizzes over here, drag and drop, fill in the blanks, very easy to do. And of course, you're wanting to get the best amount of points possible so you can get a good score from your teacher. So in this level right here, it gives you these uh, items over here, and you're supposed to drag them onto the correct one. So um, 101 would be uh, ciento uno. And it lets me know when I've got it right. Uh, como se dice pink español? There we go. So I'm on page two of five now. So far my score is looking good. I've got them all right. Haven't gotten anything wrong yet. Ciento doce. I typically like to go to the ones that I know first. Como estas? Muy bien. Gracias. Gracias de nada. Because that way, if you're unsure, of course, there's the process of uh, elimination that you can, you know, use to your advantage as well. Como te llamas? Mi amo Angelica. Buenas uh, tardes, good afternoon. And there we go. And we move on. So uh, I've got two more pages. Let's just go through this really quickly. 
a dos mil nueve es mi portuguesa como se llama el chico este es mi amigo Antonio uh. yeah didn't think so all right can't get them all right All right, so I did pretty good, and I got a quick fact that she shares with me, just some uh, FYI on... Uh, on, on different ones that it gives you after each of these sections. So after in the first grass, the basics, you have unlocked all of these, you've played all of these, it then unlocks all of the different topics. So we've got people out and about, we have a lot of these. And so my overall progress, 6%, as I master each of these topics, my overall progress increases and by the time that I have a hundred percent on all of these I should have a pretty decent understanding of the basics of the Spanish language. Now I really like the way that this application works because it makes it easy for you to grasp the language and understand things. Of course there's a lot of going into the grammar indexes and learning things and then listening to how things sound so that you know when things uh, uh, are supposed to be used, different nouns and um, uh, feminine and masculine uh, in the words and everything. There's a lot of stuff in Spanish that we're not used to in English. So um, you know, these tests, some of them are fill in the blanks, drag and drop. I like the picture popper. It's kind of like a collage. Um, and you click on the collage as it asks you a word or question. Um, gosh, there's so much high quality audio. This is a big download, this app. It's 221 megabytes, so you're going to have to be connected to a Wi Fi connection to download it. But for $6.99, I guarantee you're not going to find a better tool for learning a language like this. Um, a, a desktop application for your computer like this would cost a fortune. Um, here's the picture popper. I really want to show you this because I like how it is. So um, I'm guessing this one has to do with soccer because uh, of the word football. Yep, I was correct. Um, ooh, I really don't know some of these, so you know you just end up guessing on some of them and if you get them wrong then it doesn't give you a point and of course you can come back and uh, and redo it and get better um, and then of course you can cancel out of these if you want but you're gonna lose your score um, so very fun easy to use this app. I think it's a great way to learn Spanish. Um, whether you were thinking about getting a, uh, a large book to teach you Spanish or some sort of application for your computer, I guarantee it's going to cost more than $6.99. Um, so of course this app allows you to track your progress and learn also not just the language uh, but the culture as well, which is really cool. So um, Maria's Spanish class, of course, will help uh, help you learn to read and write and, of course, speak Spanish quickly. So really recommend that you check it out. $6.99 education app in the App Store and get it today.